In recent years, China has become increasingly prominent in the global electric vehicle market, and has become the world's largest producer of electric vehicles. However, to continue and stably develop the electric vehicle industry, China needs an element called lithium. Unfortunately, China's domestic lithium resources are not abundant and it needs to import more than half of its lithium demand every year. In order to ensure a more adequate supply of lithium, China signed a 320 million US dollar lithium mine strategic cooperation agreement with Mexico. Surprisingly, Mexico has recently officially cancelled nine of China's lithium mine concessions in its country. This decision is undoubtedly a huge blow to China's new energy industry. So why is Mexico doing this? Is there a shadow of the United States behind this incident? How should China respond to this provocation? Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Ganfeng Lithium is one of the largest producers of lithium products in China, and one of the largest holders of lithium resources in the world. As of 2020, China's lithium resources are 5.1 million tons. However, China consumes 100,000 tons of lithium resources every year, and this amount is still growing year by year. Since China's own resources cannot meet the growing demand, Ganfeng Lithium has been actively investing in lithium mining projects around the world. After many inspections, Ganfeng Lithium found that the Sonora Lithium Clay project in Mexico was very suitable for its needs. The Sonora project is one of the largest undeveloped lithium mining projects in Mexico. It is located in central Mexico and covers an area of more than 500 square kilometers. The resources of this project are 473,000 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent, of which the reserves are 191,000 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent. Its average grade is lithium oxide for 30 ppm, its reserves are very abundant, and it has high mining value. Therefore, in June 2019, Ganfone Lithium acquired 100% of the Sonora project for 258 million pounds. At that time, the Mexican government welcomed and supported this and granted Ganfone Lithium 9 lithium mine concessions, valid for 50 years. Surprisingly, after Ganfone Lithium invested hundreds of millions of dollars in infrastructure construction for the Sonora project, including the purchase of roads, hydropower facilities, and mining equipment, the Mexican government suddenly changed its stance. From April 2022 to May 2023, Mexico prohibits any private company from owning and mining Mexico's lithium resources and lists it as a strategic area. In addition, the Mexican government has made it clear that only state-owned entities can engage in lithium mining and operations in Mexico. This means that nine of China's concessions in Mexico will be withdrawn or invalidated. More importantly, by August 2023, Mexico officially sent a notice of cancellation of the concession to China. It is understood that lithium resources are one of Mexico's main economic sources. Now, Mexico is self-destructing by restricting other countries' mining activities. So why is Mexico doing this? Many people believe that the main reason why Mexico does this is to try to control the outflow of its lithium resources to protect its economy. Alternatively, leaving lithium resources to be mined by state-owned entities can better control the country's resources and prevent the loss of resources to foreign companies. In fact, this guess is not comprehensive. Mexico's bizarre behavior is mostly due to the intervention of the United States. As we all know, the United States is a country extremely short of natural resources, especially metals such as rare earths, cobalt, and copper that are critical to the new energy field. The United States has almost no ability to be self-sufficient. Lithium, as a core raw material in new energy vehicles, energy storage batteries and other fields, is a strategic resource for the United States. 
However, the United States has very low reserves and production of lithium resources. According to the United States Geological Survey, in 2022, the United States lithium reserves will be only 630,000 tons, accounting for 1.9% of the world's total reserves. The United States produces only 42,000 tons of lithium, accounting for 7.1% of global production. China's lithium reserves are 4.5 million tons, accounting for 13.6% of the world's total reserves. China's lithium production is 100,000 tons, accounting for 16.9% of global production. This has led to the United States' heavy reliance on lithium resources. According to data from the U.S. Department of Commerce, the United States imported 18,000 tons of lithium carbonate from China in 2022, accounting for 57.8% of its total imports. It imported 9,000 tons of lithium carbonate from Argentina, accounting for 28.8% of its total imports. China and Argentina are exactly where Ganfeng Lithium's two most important overseas lithium mining projects are located. This means that if Ganfeng Lithium successfully develops and constructs lithium mine projects in Mexico and Argentina, it will greatly increase China's influence and voice in the global lithium resource market. At the same time, it will also weaken the competitiveness and security of the United States in this field. Therefore, the United States has sufficient motivation and reason to intervene in, or influence the mining policies of countries such as Mexico and Argentina to prevent, or restrict the investment and development of Chinese companies such as Ganfeng Lithium in these countries. In fact, the United States has already made a lot of efforts in this regard. For example, in October 2022, the United States signed a memorandum with Australia, India, and Japan to establish a rare earth supply chain network and reduce dependence on China's rare earths. In January 2023, the United States and Canada also signed a memorandum of understanding aimed at strengthening cooperation and trade between the two countries in the field of key minerals, including new energy-related minerals such as lithium. As one of the most important allies of the United States in Latin America, Mexico and Argentina have close economic and security ties. Mexico is one of the United States' largest trading partners, and the two countries have close economic cooperation. Argentina has profound historical and cultural ties with the United States, and is one of the most important strategic partners of the United States in South America. Therefore, it is understandable when mining policy changes in these two countries are unfavorable to China. It is worth mentioning that this is not the first time Mexico has broken a treaty with China. In June 2013, Mexico planned to build a high-speed railway connecting Mexico City and Cuetaro. China won the contract at the time, but just three days later, Mexico cancelled the cooperation between the two countries and rebid for the high-speed rail project. Mexico's reversal caused huge losses to China, which had already spent millions of dollars on site surveys in the first bid. Despite this, China did not complain and went ahead to prepare for a second bid, and won again. Surprisingly, Mexico once again broke the contract citing economic problems and decided to suspend the high-speed rail project indefinitely. Regarding this incident, China eventually requested compensation from Mexico through legal procedures. Unfortunately, China only received 8.1 million yuan in compensation, which can be said to be a huge loss compared with previous investments. In response to Mexico's repeated breach of contract, China decided to fight back. For example, China directly suspended imports of Mexican corn. It is understood that one of the main economic pillars of Mexico is agriculture, and corn occupies an important position in it. Every year, Mexico produces more than 20 million tons of corn, of which about 8 million tons are exported to China. It is estimated that China's suspension of 8 million tons of corn imports will cost Mexico up to $300 million per year. Not only that, China has also made it clear that it will scrutinize Mexican agricultural products more strictly. 
If any product quality is found not to meet its import standards, China will resolutely return these products. Statistics show that Mexico's annual exports of agricultural products to China reach 13 billion US dollars. Once this important order is cancelled, it will have a profound impact on Mexican agriculture and may even be a devastating blow. China's decision not only highlights its strict requirements for partners, but also reflects its emphasis on quality. In today's increasingly deepening globalization, cooperative relations are no longer just simple exchanges between countries, but involve the interests of both parties and even the whole world. China's actions undoubtedly sound a warning to those countries that do not keep their promises in cooperation and exchanges. This video ends here. Do you think these measures in Mexico are behind the instructions of the United States? Do you think China's counterattack is correct? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area to share your thoughts and feelings. If you like the content of this issue, please recommend it to your friends so that more people can see this video. Thank you everyone for watching and supporting, see you next time.